Yo, what's up? It's your boy Derek Branch here with uh, SportsTalk365.com. And yeah, so I want to talk about the uh, Saints' upcoming uh, matchup against the uh, Chicago Bears this Sunday um, evening or well, afternoon, if you want to call it that. Um, a game will be uh, at Soldier Field. We showed on Fox. Um, just like to know if um, this could be the game that the Saints' um, defense can get it right. It's called a get right game. You know, because the way things have been going with the team lately, you know, with the secondary, you know, getting blowing assignments, mental errors. That's what I keep hearing. That's what they keep, you know, analysts, Saints analysts, and, you know, various, you know, beat writers have been saying it's been, it's all, you know, mental errors, but the defense is on, on the back end causing these big plays to occur. Now, if you watch the game against, watch the Bears' uh, recent game against the uh, Los Angeles Rams on Monday Night Football, you see that the uh, it's a bad offense. It's a bad offense. Um, I think they're, they're ranked in the bottom of the league and you know, the major categories on offense. It's not a good offense, you know. Despite the um, what you've been hearing about Magnaggy, you know, as a as a play caller, to say that he came from uh, the Andy Reid, Andy Reid uh, coaching tree in uh, Kansas City is hard to tell. You know, but what he's done with that offense is this: it tries to be creative with it, with uh, the personnel, but I just don't think that he has the right people yet in that offense. It doesn't, you know, they got some okay pieces, and Nick Foles in that game in his previous, Nick Bear, I watched the Bears' uh, previous game against. Carolina, they're struggling in that game to put up points to generate offense. So if the Saints cannot take advantage of the Bears' offensive line, that's pretty bad. If Cam Jordan cannot get any pressure up, the, up front, you know, Davenport, he cannot, if Cam Jordan cannot, you know, overcome double teams and get to get in, in um, sack uh, Nick Foles a couple times, there's something wrong with us, Dan. We don't deserve to be a, a team, a playoff team. If we've if we lose to this team, man. They're five and two, but they're fraudulent. That's a fraudulent team, man. The Bears are a fraudulent five and two team right now. And everyone knows it. Defense is pretty good, but it's not what we seen last year. Well, the previous year, 27, 2018. Um, they still have to take the ball away, but I'm more more and more referring to their offense in this video because it's not a good offense, man. And the Saints should be able to defense, should be able to take advantage of what of the the, the play calls that uh Mad Nagy sends through to a Nick Foles. Now, if he gets that bad to a point to where they uh he turns it over against the Saints and uh Mitchell Trubisky come back in the game, man, that's even better. But even when Mitchell Trubisky, that at certain times, like in certain games, he just go off, you know. So I'm waiting. I'm just looking forward to what the scene, what the defense can do, what the secondary can do, because it's bad, man. You know, guys like uh, what's his name, Marcus Williams. You know, uh, Marcus Williams, uh, P.J. Williams. You know, Marshawn Lattimore was at a certain extent, man. You got y'all been in the same scheme. For, for the past four years, four seasons. Now, during four seasons, y'all been in the past scheme, the same scheme. Y'all still having breakdowns, communication issues? You know, it's just, come on, man. We got yeah, to gotta, gotta turn around, man. We just, this is the game for that, man. This, this is the game that you can turn around and get things back on track. You know, whatever the middle errors is, man, it's just, it's bad, man. It's just that... The moves they made for the defense in the offseason were thought of to be in moves that could put this team in a Super Bowl contention into the super driver's seat to get to the Super Bowl. So far, it's not working out. Um, I don't know, man. The Malcolm Jenkins, you know, signing has been a, a waste so far. A waste, you know what I'm saying? He could have kept Von Bell, but we let him go to Cincinnati on a cheap deal. So we'll see, man. It's just, um, it'd be frustrating, but 
we should we should see how that go, man. The Saints, you know, the D, this is this is the game to get it right. I think the game to get it right. I'm not saying they're gonna put score forty points on them or nothing, but it should be the Saints should beat this just beat the Bears, man. It's bad, bad enough that you know it get the defense get back on track, it's especially in the secondary, you know. The, the pass rush is getting better, but it, it, it regressed a little bit last week against Carolina, man. They couldn't get it. One sack. They just got uh, the whole game. They got one sack on um, Teddy Bridgewater. And that was and the, the most, important, most important time, part of the game. When they put him back, put him in a field goal range, like 65 yards. That was the only sack they got on uh, Cam, on uh, not Cam Newton, Teddy Bridgewater in, in the Carolina game. Only one sack. So that that I mean, come on, man. We, we should be able to get past that old line, man. Chicago has a bad old line. We should be able to get past it, get some pressures up front, cause Nick Foles to turn the ball the football over. You know, but we'll see. Um, looking forward to it. And if, if they can't get it done by this, by this game, they gotta do. They gotta make some changes, man. They, they may go out and trade for somebody. Um, Possibly a coaching change in the secondary coach. We don't know, man. I don't, you know, something got to happen, man. If they want to, if they want to win the Super Bowl, man, they got to risk, give something up, man. Risk something, man. Because they got, they got assets. They got their piece, set, their assets out there that can help this team right now. You know, if they make the moves. The issue is what, how much is going to cost them for the future? In the future, but we'll see, man. That's all I got for you for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for the um, Bears versus the Saints um, preview and prediction. It's going to be on the uh, Saints Discussions uh, podcast coming soon, probably like around Friday night, Saturday-ish. Um, description box below. Check out uh, sportstalk365.com forward slash Saints for the latest content on the World Saints organization. Please subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. Peace.